So hi guys, it's Dr. Parth Palan here and welcome to the Last Minute Pearls. And today's topic is beans. So let's begin guys. So yeah, the first screenshot that you need to take, I have actually, I had, I had made a, you know, concise table of all the formula related in beans, like the weight, when it doubles, when it triples. So this is what you need to remember, this is the first screenshot that you need to take, okay, the weight and the height. Take it. Yeah, next. Now, this here over here is the continuation of the table which I have concise all the formulae the head circumference, the chest circumference, the US by LS ratio, the crown rump length, the mid parental height, everything, everything has to be in one place. Next, next, this is the NEC, the status of NEC that is 1A, 1A, 1B. Uh, in various textbooks, I found that it is. Uh, Haywire, they have not given it really properly. And then in apps and all, I found that it had, they have given it really nicely. So from that, I have made a table of mine. So this you can read it for your last day. Next, this is obviously very easy, and many of you must be knowing. But in order to avoid confusion, it's always better to read the Senki. So like short stature, if if it's normal with velocity, what is the thing? This is a whole you know table kind of thing which you need to remember. I have taken a screenshot. Yeah, next. The same. If it's proportionate short stature, what you're supposed to think. And if it's disproportionate, what you're supposed to think. So if it's with shorter limbs, so these are the examples. And if it's with shorter trunk, then these are the examples. Beads is in general a very logical, uh, you know, logical subject. All you need to do is apply a little bit of your concepts and you will almost get all your answers right. Next. So yeah, this the PSTN pharyngitis what exactly and after how much time you know there is a glomerular nephritis caused after pharyngitis infection the late latent period is one to two weeks whereas after pyoderma it's three to six weeks and the antibody used to detect is this okay yeah so next so next what i would also want you to read is refractive rickets Everybody knows about the normal rickets, but then you know refractive rickets is a topic which you all need to master because it's a very 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 commonly asked question in INI CET. Next I would also want you all to read the neonatal reflexes. Like when they appear, when they disappear, which are the two reflexes which stay throughout your life. And you know, topics like these, they are very common one-liner questions. Then there is the Abker score. Obviously you all must be knowing, but just brush it up once and, and then the neonatal resuscitation is the one topic which you cannot miss. You just cannot miss. There's a table, it's given in guides, it's given in your notes, it's given in apps, it's given in everything. But this table of neonatal resuscitation, you have to be very thorough with it because again, they are going to give you a clinical scenario and then they are going to say what is the next step. And it's very logical as well. You all must be, you all should be knowing neonatal resuscitation. So you have to know this first. Yeah. So, uh, next, uh, so let me see what this is. Yeah, the congenital heart lesions. The congenital heart lesions, first, they only used to ask us the simple ones like the VST, AST, they used to give us clinical cases. But now they have given us, now they started giving us cases of all the, you know, complicated congenital heart lesions. The thing is, we only find it complicated because we don't know the exact pathophysiology. So once if you know the pathophysiology of exactly why is that disease caused. So for every disease you need to do this one thing and you need to draw this uh, four chambers of the heart and you need to uh, draw this for each and every disease. Like if this is, uh, you know, this is compromised, what is going to happen? You know something like this, if right atrium, right ventricle, the septum is not there, what exactly will happen? If there's a VSD, so what exactly will happen? So you need to have such diagrams for each and every congenital heart lesion. Once you understand the pathophysiology, it's going to be very easy for you to solve any question. Okay, and last but not the least, in fact, the most important topic again, like if in general physiology, we read neonatal resuscitation as the most uh, important topic in systemic, I would name this, I, was, I would term this as the most important topic in systemic beats, which is congenital adrenal hyperplasia. They have been asking one-liners, clinical questions, treatments, all sorts of questions on this. And it's a very easy thing to remember actually. I don't know why people find it really difficult. You just need to have a table in your mind and you just need to know 
what exactly like if this is missing this enzyme if this enzyme is missing this will uh, the substrate here will increase so that table has to be remembered and once you remember that table so then you will be able, then you will easily be able to remember like which are low if 21 uh, oxidase is missing so then what is the thing which is going to increase and what is the clinical presentation of the child so this is how you have to remember the most important topic c a h and p so this was it from peets guys peets guys so yeah all the very best guys Get it.